today or do it tomorrow, go out and party tonight. Like, you ain't got to stop your fun, but you got to know yourself. Like, when I was younger, my mom was like, y'all always running around. Y'all don't know how to do your work. So she used to make us take our work in the bathroom. So she's like, you can't, it's no TV in there. It's before, like, when we ain't had cell phones and stuff. So she's like, you're not going to get off the toilet until you finish your work. But it's true. Because you, it's no distractions. Like, I'm not, like, honestly, like, I, I won't, I'll go to the bathroom and sit on the floor until I finish work. Because that's how I grew up. But it, it's no distractions. I mean, I was never the person to try to go to a room like this and just be quiet. I got to have music on or something. But that is, like, it's just different strategies. Like, y'all ain't got to listen to everybody telling y'all how to do it. Because there's a thousand ways to do one thing. Like, I never planned on, I didn't think I would graduate. You know, I was on a football scholarship. But at the same time, you think you want to go to the league. But it's like real life hits you. And a lot of people don't realize that. Like, you still, no matter what you're doing, you still got to live a real life afterwards. So a lot of people have trouble transitioning with it and everything like that. So a lot of stuff y'all want to do, like somebody might, Berta, what you want to do? Uh, I want to be a counselor, young marriage counselor. What's your, what's your major? Psychology. Like, I would tell Berto, not even, like, if y'all weren't here, like, if that's your major, start doing it now. Everybody knows somebody who's going through it. He might have a couple little friends that they in a relationship, they have problems, they put it over on Twitter. I say start counseling them now and start learning it now because when he got to go do his residency in, in a hospital or something or wherever he want to go, that's exactly what he going to have to do. He going to be interning, doing the same thing he could be doing now. So just like if one of y'all want to be a sports commentator or work for ESPN, y'all can start doing that right now, fashion design. Start doing it now. Make your own little blog. Get it popping. Put it on IG. Get a little Tumblr snap, all that. You can start doing your own little dress of the day, shoes of the week, whatever, and get your own little thing popping. So when you do graduate, you got a whole portfolio, and you can throw it at them. So they're going to be coming towards you, asking you, like, hey, how much you, you know, how much will, could, we, could we give you to sign with us? Because when you get out of college, they straight gonna hit you with, oh yeah, you don't got enough experience. And I went through that, because when you go to a D1 school, you play ball, you can't work. So I didn't have any working experience. I mean, I finally graduated. I got a little internship golfing in West Virginia, ran it. Never golfed in my life, I didn't know. I thought it was a rich white people thing. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> so I got in, I'm like, so I'm popping for you. I'm good, I ain't gotta do nothing. I ain't trying to golf, I'm just trying to get this bread. But honestly, that opened up my eyes to like networking. And I went to three universities. I didn't start networking. So I got to my last school, and that was the smallest school. We had like 2,100. So I went from 30,000 to 15,000 to 2,100. And it's not, I graduated with a 4.0 from grad school. That don't matter at all. It don't matter. You can graduate with a 5.0. I got two degrees. I'm 24. It's all about who you know and what you know. So it's all about who you know. Remember that. Like, y'all got an opportunity to network.